Hello everybody, I'm Karex and welcome back to some Morels the Hunt. A little bit of sort of just a general let's play and commentary and some thoughts and in and, and sort of just, you know, kind of just talking through uh things as, as we as things pop up. But yeah, the, the first aid kits are 150. So I just I feel like it's like how many morels does that translate into, right? I don't want to be spending, I don't really want to be using these. For poison oak if i can just kind of end the day so so yesterday got ended a little bit quicker because um because we hit poison ivy so now let's go back in let's start hunting this is day four we have the raincoat so as soon as it, it's not it hasn't even rained yet but as soon as it rains we're gonna be ready as soon as it rains we're gonna be ready with that raincoat because I have felt the pain of having five rainy days in a row in this game. And it definitely cuts your ability to find mushrooms. If we were able to find another 75 mushrooms today, I'd be very, very disappointed. But, you know, that's kind of, I, I think it really we just need to go into their Discord and see what's going on. I need to do some reading to see if the if the patch, if there was some sort of patch or if there are patch notes or anything for, for anything that's happening. Yeah, there's no morels right here right now. 157 out of 25 yeah that just kind of makes me think something's something's up a little bit let's go check the spot that we literally just got morels from nice that little that little crouch right there that little sneak up and uh, there was another robin over here though right although we might have just lost it it seems like 15 points is worth it if you can quickly capture the animal. Chasing them around and stuff might not be worth it. And that also, my opinion of that could change just based on um, like how effective it is just to sort of... Whoa. We have not seen a deer before. How is this not counting... Wow, that, that probably should give you a little bit more credit from further away, but 20 points for the deer. Very cool. Very cool. That's kind of majestic, I'm not going to lie. Just walk around, look for morels, and boom, there's a deer. That's kind of neat. And, and like, you know, the last few days, there definitely wasn't a deer there. You know, so, kind of cool. Yeah, more morels. It's almost like, I hate to say it, but it's actually, this is kind of... This is kind of belittling it a little bit. The uh, not not me belittling the game, but I mean like finding morels so easily is kind of belittling the experience of, of coming out here and picking the morels. And the sort of the the awesomeness of finding you know these little these little areas and stuff. And we had to find this area initially, sure, but maybe that's maybe that's more their ideas that like oh once you find an area you shouldn't like have to refine the area all the time, but. I wish, I wish at least they didn't respond as quickly so it would be a little bit more mysterious. Because we just picked morels from this spot, like, last night. Like, right before we literally ran to the cabin and ended day three, we were just picking morels from here. Crazy. And again, I'm sure there's, I, without question, there's areas that we haven't found yet without question on this map we haven't explored every nook and cranny of this map i think every day we have found a couple new areas at least but day four might be where that ends oh, the bird actually swooped down there is a morel on the screen i see it just gonna grab this bird really quick, see if we can get some points for this. Oh, of course, that was the one of the ones that we've already photoed. Oh, maybe it's. Oh, you know what it might be? It might be like one squirrel per day, not necessarily like. Like obviously, because we we did an American robin, I know, but there's no way that was the same American robin. Whoa! Look at this. This is a massive patch of these suckers. 
I've never, I, this is honestly, this was like the first time I'd ever seen one doing these, these recordings here, um, playing, uh, playing sort of not, um, recording. I didn't find any of that kind of mushroom and, and here we're finding tons of them, including some very large patches I mean, they look cool, but we definitely don't want to be scooping them all up. See, I'm just kind of like, it's interesting because they look neat and I like that they're there, um, but we would never pick them, right? Unless there was, it'd be kind of cool if there, it would be nice if, if there was a reason to pick them to be excited that we found them, but. And even if you didn't know what those were, you just pick one, it would tell you they're poisonous, you'd lose energy, and then you'd be like, oh, okay, I guess we're done picking those then. I feel like we're missing some through here. I'm also not seeing any. I mean, those other ones seem like they dominated the area. Let's not hit the spiderwoods because I'm not sure if there's a relationship between the spiderwoods and the ticks. I don't know how we're supposed to tell if there's if there's a, a tick to avoid or not. Just kind of hitting up the known spots over here pretty much. And it's working for us. It's really working for us. Yeah, this is really what I enjoy is just snooping around here, finding that one morel that just almost got away. She had to get down to sort of its level in order to find it or come at it from the right angle. We've been back here a couple times. There's a poison, poison ivy that we'd rather not uh, tangle with. Oh, wow. I was going to say, we've never seen a morel back here, though. There's one. Okay. We need to be incredibly careful back here. I've Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen morels back in this area. This, I, I'm calling this a new spot. It's not too far from the other spot. I'm calling this a new spot. Yeah, that right there is not good. That bright green leaf. Be very, very careful. These edges of the map are full of that stuff, full of the poison ivy. Three morels. Hmm. Do we really think in an area that we've never been to yet, that there'd only be three morels sitting here? Or, or is there more to find? It sure seems like for now, there's just three. Okay. I didn't even see those, but I guess it was telling us we could pick them. Must have been higher up on that tree or something. That was the pheasant bag. That's the one that you find off the trees. It'd be easy to spot a morel around that tree. Got a lot of low vegetation. What corner of the map is that? Oh, this is the bottom right corner? Oh, we missed the truck. Let's go back. Kind of missed the missed the truck here. Let's cut it on this side of the cabin to see if there's anything. I go back a different way. More American Robins. Puff balls up here. I guess is, you know, worth a point. It's not exactly something to get too excited about, but might as well grab them. Seems that we are. Oh, uh, have we taken a picture of rabbit today? I think they got it. I think we got it. I saw green. Nice. 20 points. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Where is the car, though? 
we're facing the wrong direction. This is really kind of an interesting little hidey hole. I'm not going to lie. Is it over here? Uh, I don't think it's... No. I think it's a bigger, more open area than that. Yeah. Be careful not to hit the poison ivy, but we're not really looking. We're just kind of running. Oh, it is back. This is it. You bump over here and, and you're there. And this is where we, we tend to find a lot of poison ivy as well. And squirrels. This is where, this has been a consistent gold mine in here. Every time we've gotten to the car. Hmm. Because it's interesting because I guess what I'm thinking in my head is that if it's this, if you can sort of like gather this many mushrooms this quickly from the, the map, the, the maps need to unlock faster. You know, new maps need to unlock faster because when it took me a whole week, when it took me literally an entire week to get 25 mushrooms and to find the different areas to go, that kind of had more of a... And it's like, wow, now you have a new area. It's like, oh, cool. I just kind of like mastered this area. I've marked up this area. And now I have a new area to go. But this is kind of like, okay, well, you're finding a lot of... You're kind of very quickly getting sort of a an, an area marked down that, that's netting you a lot of mushrooms per day. And we're just kind of farming points, really already which is kind of goofy i think to be doing that this quickly in the in the game i mean i'm sure like the other areas there's probably there's got to be bigger maps with with like more uh, more yield and stuff right so it doesn't make sense that this would be but this seems rather effective to me i mean getting 75 morels in a single day i mean could you really hope for more than that Playing on a map you've never played on, trying to actually find and discover. That's why I think that these areas should have like a, yeah, like a one week, like a it refreshes like every week or something, but it's a little bit more ambiguous than that. It could be like six days, could be eight days, could be nine days. Like you don't know. You might accidentally go back too early and realize that it hasn't really replenished yet or something. I don't know if we hit all of them there. That definitely wasn't a huge score. But I don't want to get poison ivy, which I saw back there. So I'm just kind of like wondering if we could find that one lone mushroom and, and get out of here. So I got a couple other really big hot spots that we haven't hit either. I didn't realize all of these there as we were walking in. Hmm. Perspective, right? Different perspective. Got to pick it up the pace a little bit, which doesn't exactly isn't exactly the spirit of the game, I think. But it's kind of something that we can do. Like I'd like to go hit these two areas uh, by the creek. And also, maybe find some stuff along the way. Spider net here. Spider web. This looks like a pretty prime spot here. Find, find a new mushroom hidey hole. But it does not look to be. Because it does seem like if those areas that we've marked are respawning mushrooms every day, then that means that every area that could have mushrooms probably has mushrooms every day. Does that make sense? So it kind of seems like if there's no mushrooms here today, then there will never be mushrooms there today or in the future. That's kind of what it almost kind of is feeling like because the areas that we have found mushrooms are consistently regenerating them. So it's weird to think that like there could be mushrooms here. They just haven't spawned. But I guarantee there are places that we either haven't found or maybe a place where we went in that particular day, like day one or something, we could have passed through a place. And there just wasn't mushrooms in that spot for that day. It does seem like there would be some variance, which would be good. Get these puff, puff balls getting our, our energy maxed up, getting rounding out the points up to, 
the 380. Of course, we do have the raincoat. Now, that was 500 points well spent, I think. Although we haven't actually had a rainy day yet, so but but they're coming. They're coming. We have this area marked up, and I'm starting. Even without the marker, I'm already just kind of spotting some of these morels here. Here's our marker, though. It's got to be a little bit more than four. But I think this was an area that was pretty wide with morels. Hmm. Only four this time that we found so far. That kind of creeped me out a little bit. There's a little bunny rabbit going back there, I think. Yeah. Huh. There's four for that spot, huh? Down here is usually pretty lucrative. There's the area on this side of the water, and then there's hopping over. Yes, this is a this is a nice little grouping of them here. Level two, level two. We got two hundred Moro mushrooms. See, I never even got to level one before playing this game. So the fact that we're already level two, day four, and when I played like today eight, nine, like I wasn't even like hitting a hundred total morels. Something's changed, right? That's what I'm thinking. What does getting a higher level of uh, mushroom? It gives us more, un like more unlocks in the in the book. And we'll have to let's here. Let's take a look at this hunter's manual. This is kind of where I think it starts. Um, and then shop items. Okay, you get a little manual for this. You can choose to camp and start the next day at your current location. You go to the cabin menu to shop or go to the cabin menu to stop. I, okay, very cool. That's actually, so it's just kind of, it's almost like just like a convenience thing or something. You can purchase four different skins for it. Okay, I mean, I don't know. Don't know what the point of that is. Ooh, we haven't found these before. You can identify poisonous mushrooms by picking them up or just looking at them, right? Picking them up will decrease your energy. It will also blur your vision for a few seconds. This is to let you know that they are poisonous. We haven't gotten any Prashinis or Protobellos. Could be in different regions. Um, I'd like it if there was even more than this. Increase your energy and your points. Yeah, I, I think they need to keep giving more things to find. Oh, this is actually showing you... If you get a tick, your energy will slowly go down until you remove it. There are items in the shop that can remove them. Uh, there's also bug spray that will help you prevent from getting them. Interesting. So just using bug spray, I guess. Snake bite. That sounds kind of scary, actually. See, now we're counting down. Uh, rain, if you do not have raincoat when it's raining, your energy will slowly decrease. So this is kind of interesting that you have to actually, like, kind of unlock if you fall from really... Hi, uh, your day will end. You get too close to some animals like a bear. They may attack you. Oh, interesting. Watch out for things like spiderwebs, cacti. They will also decrease your energy. Okay. Hmm. So that's actually kind of at least giving some some understanding and to, to some of those mechanics and things that we've kind of observed. You, I feel like you kind of observed most of that before you actually picked 200 mushrooms, but that's neat that it's in there. I'm just wondering if maybe... I wonder if you get other things for leveling up your mushroom skill because it kind of seems like that information might be good to present to the player just as part of a part of the tutorial but i kind of also get the idea of like you're just going in you're bumbling around and and you're learning this stuff like as you become better at mushroom picking so i kind of understand where they're coming from there 
by not having that all unlocked. And you unlock it pretty fast if you're kind of enjoying the game and playing it a good amount you unlock. Obviously you unlock level 2 pretty fast because we've done it on day 4. Although I think either we're getting lucky or we've just kind of figured out this map. Which I I definitely think that uh, this will probably be our little last episode just because it feels like it's going to be 4 more days till we unlock a new map. And I don't want to spoil new maps. If this is kind of like once you figure a map out, it's kind of figured out. Then we don't want to spoil any of the additional content. But this has been, uh, this has been, at least I've had fun playing it. Um, this is kind of right up my alley, though, as someone who actually, like, enjoys uh, eating these mushrooms and kind of the, the lore and the legacy behind um, some of the people that actually, like, go out and, like, collect these things, you know, every season. And it is kind of like, it's almost kind of like getting that outdoorsy experience. From the comfort of your of your office, you know what I mean. So, I think at this point, we've uh, we've hit the areas that are like that we've acknowledged. They definitely didn't seem as full today, right? Like I think we've only gotten about. We, I don't even know if we've even gotten. We ended at 150, I think. So I guess we've gotten like 60. We've probably gotten about 60 morels today. So I guess that's not bad, but it's definitely not as much as we got yesterday. I've also been a little bit loose, fast and loose with the picking of them, to be honest. Like we're floating there for a second. Hmm. Like I know there's got to be other areas that we haven't found yet because we've marked we have these marked we have these marked so it seems like there's kind of a void right here right and there's kind of a void right there but this is actually pretty close to the cabin I think we've gone through that area quite a bit back there but it does seem like there's an awkward gap in the uh, sort of in the in the marking like there's got to be mushrooms over here. We just haven't really found any. Also, the fact that we're on a pathway makes me think that we need to get off the pathway to find them. Like back in here and stuff. I think the animals kind of have a weird pathing or bugging and stuff. I think to some degree this... I think that blue jay is trying to fly away and kind of just flying right into a tree instead. I don't know. But yeah, that sound, right? That sound kind of tells you that you're near a bluebird, and then you can kind of start looking for, for the bluebird and stuff. It's it's weird how energy is kind of not a big deal, but it could become more of a big deal on larger maps. I think to some degree, you kind of have to treat this map as maybe just kind of a, kind of a beginner map. But the fact that it's so lucrative to find mushrooms on... Is maybe kind of goofy though, right? I think if there was just less sort of pickings here. It would kind of maintain that high level of satisfaction that we were feeling after day one for finding all those mushrooms. Now it kind of like finding so many more the next day and the next day and the next day kind of belittles like I, I guess it retroactively kind of like dampens that enthusiasm that we had initially for finding the mushrooms because we're realizing okay maybe it's not that hard to find a bunch of mushrooms it's all perspective though because still we've only earned about uh, 1200 points which you know considering it's only been a short amount of time we'll definitely i believe we'll definitely have enough points to be able to we'll definitely have enough points to be able to get the atv relatively soon I think yeah there's got to be something around here there's got to be something around here there's this unique sort of tent campsite area we just need to we need to this is where we, we need to hunt We're running out of daylight though
But this is a whole area that I don't think we've actually been to. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it'd be too hard to spot them in here either. I'm surprised we're not finding any. Maybe this area is just to make you think there would be something here and there's not. I don't know. I mean, it makes sense that it wouldn't be next to the campsite itself because, you know, campers and stuff would pick them or smash them or whatever. I'm trying to think if, I, as a kid, if I've ever, if I've ever seen a goofy. Look. I mean, we, I think we've all gone camping. Well, if we've gone camping, right? I think we've know that experience of being a kid and being in the, in the woods and just smashing things and goofy looking mushrooms and just you know, throwing rocks on them and stuff. I'm trying to think if I've ever smashed a morel. I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen a morel in, in. Um, I'm pretty. I mean, obviously, there's a bunch of them. I think in the Pacific Northwest, um, you can you can find morels, but I don't think I've ever actually found a morel. Just in the uh, in the wild, so to speak. Even before I would have known what they were, it just they're kind of goofy looking things, and I think you'd remember finding one. Yeah, this is interesting, guys. Whoa. The fire is actually on over here? That's kind of creepy. We didn't actually thoroughly explore this entire area. And I'm worried that like right... There's a tick. Not that we're worried about that, but... I'm worried that we were getting... We were getting warmer. We were getting warmer and it's, it's now pitch black, so let's... Use the mini map and, and rush home with sprint. Even sprinting, you don't lose a lot of energy. I mean, of course, the energy doesn't regenerate, right, until you end the day. So it kind of makes sense that sprinting doesn't just immediately drain it. But and I guess we're draining it kind of decently now that we're kind of just runting and jump. Jumping, I think, does more than sprinting. Pretty good day of morale hunting. Not a record, though. Does it actually give you, like, daily, like, um, sort of stats for the day? No, I guess it doesn't. It, sh it should do that. It should sort of do, like, a like a daily summary or something like that. But, guys, thank you so much for watching, everybody. What has this been? Uh, four days of Morel's The Hunt. I'm exploring the initial starting position, and we have 95 days left in the, uh, in the season for picking mushrooms and stuff. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys in the next one and hopefully this has been a a good look in order to kind of make a decision about the game or at least introduce you to something new and such so thank thank you so much guys for watching again and i will see you guys uh in the next one